video I will show you how to separate data from one column into multiple columns based on data in another column. So in this data set that I'm showing you, I have data for people taking a day trip recently, the mode of transport they used is shown in column A, and the amount of money they spent on this day trip is shown in column B. So I would like to separate the amount they spent based on the mode of transport that they used. So my first step would be to first figure out what modes of transport am I dealing with. For that, we can scroll through, we can sort the data and go and see what we have in there, but we have quite a few observations. You'll note that we have about 16,500 values here, so that's not the best method to use. What I'd rather do is highlight all of the data in column A, copy it over, and paste it in a different column. I'm just going to paste it here in column J. So once I've done that, I can make use of a very useful tool here in Excel. By going to the Data tab, you will notice there's a heading called uh, Remove Duplicates. So I will click on that and press OK. And that tells me that it's removed all of these duplicate values and only three unique values remain. So we can see that people traveled either by bus or by taxi or by car. So the next thing I'll do is I'll highlight these three modes of transport. Again, I'm going to copy these and I'm going to now use them as my headings. So I'll click here on column C, go to paste and then use this paste transpose function that we have to go and paste it as headings. Now my next step is to go and get the data from column B into column C, D and E based on the mode of transport. So for that I'm going to use an if statement. So I'll start by saying if the value in column A is equal to let's say bus, what I'm going to also do is just fix it onto that column so I have an absolute reference there. Then what I wanted to return is the total. Otherwise, I'm going to ask it to return the word delete. There we go. So we can see it's worked here. I'm going to drag this formula across because I want to obviously do it for all the other columns as well. And instead of having to retype the formula, I want to be a little bit more efficient. So I'm just going to change this so that I'm referencing the taxi bit and then drag these references back to column A. I'm not fixing them onto... Uh, column A and B, um, so cell A2 and B2, because I want those formulas to copy down when I uh, copy down my formulas, so I don't want to always reference them. So I just press OK, and I do the exact same thing over here. I'm just going to drag this reference over to car, drag this back to A2, drag this back to B2. Now I'm going to copy my formulas down. So there we go. And you can see that here where we have taxi, it's appearing in the taxi column. Where we have car, it's the values appearing in the car column. So my next step is going to be to copy all of this data. And I'm going to replace what I have in these three columns with their values. So I'm getting rid of the formulas and just keeping the values in there. So now if I click on this, you can see in the formula bar, that there is nothing, no formula left, it's just the value, and you can see we actually did it for all of our values. Now, the last step is to just get rid of the word delete. So there's a reason why I put that there. If I'd put an empty space, when I use this data, if there's an empty space in a cell, Excel will see it as text. And I don't want any text in those cells, I want all of these missing values to be deleted. So I'm going to highlight everything, go to find and select and choose the replace function. You can see I've already typed the word delete there. So I, in the find um, box and then in the replace box, there is absolutely nothing. Then I'll say replace all. Once that's done, I have my bus data here. You can see I have 852 people that traveled by bus. In the taxi column, I have 5,825, and the rest of them are in the car column. So this is an easy way to separate your data into different columns. Depending on what you now want to do with it, you might want to delete the empty spaces. An easy way of doing that is just to sort each column separately and just um, 
just by spawn list and largest and it will automatically move all the empty spaces to the bottom.